Hello everyone, welcome to another video by Ecom Clips. This is a channel where we guide you around various different aspects of ever-changing, ever-growing and very competitive world of e-commerce. And today's video is on Amazon and the topic of the video is how to change the lead time of a product in Amazon. Now before you get into that, let us talk about what the lead time actually is. Lead time is the amount of time that you have from when the order has been placed until you must ship it out. Right now, I'm on my Amazon page. If you look at here, it says usually ships within 6 to 10 days. Now this is the lead time. A lead time can give the buyer a general idea of how soon or how late they will receive the product. And if we exceed the lead time to ship a product, in that case that will be marked as late on Amazon and that will affect the evaluation of the seller. So without any further ado, let's find out how we can actually change the lead time. There are two very simple methods of changing the lead time. The first method is done by going to the seller central and changing it from the offer tab. The second method, however, is done by updating it on the price and quantity spreadsheet and then uploading the spreadsheet as a bulk. We're going to show you both of the methods. Let's start with method one first. For this, we're going to have to log into sellercentral.amazon.com. I'm already logged into sellercentral.amazon.com. Here, if we go on to any product on the Manage Inventory page and click on Edit, it will bring us on the Edit Product Information tab in window. And here, we must go to the Offer tab. We must keep scrolling down until we can see the production time option. Here it is. It can also be written as fulfillment latency. Now the number we put in here will be our lead time. So let's try putting in 20. And then click save and finish. So 20 is now the lead time. 20 days is the amount of time that now we will have from the when the order has been placed until we can ship it out. So this is how we actually change the lead time. From the offer tab of the product edit product edit product information window now if you go to amazon and check this product you will see that the lead time has now been changed all right let's go on to the second method now if you intend to change the lead time of many of your products or maybe all of your product in that case the first method will become very time time consuming and very problematic for that and this in this case it's the second method will come in handy second method is changing the lead time by updating the price and quantity spreadsheet and then uploading it as a bulk. I'm going to show you how to do it now. So for that the first thing we need to do is download a template. This template will allow us to change the lead time. Now how do we download the template? The first thing we need to do is to go to inventory, add products via upload, click on that and then it will give, give me the option to download in inventory file templates. We click on that and here we will be able to see a few different templates like inventory loader, listing loader and price and quantity update. We must download the price and quantity up update. It will allow us not only to change the lead time, also it will allow us to change the price and the quantity. But right now we should only care about the update of the lead time. So we click on that and it will start downloading. Alright, the file is now downloading. Okay, it has finished downloading. We'll open that up with Excel. Here we are. It's giving me all the definitions of the different terms used in the file. If we navigate to price template, we can see there are different columns here. The first column is for SKU, then price, minimum price, maximum price, the quantity of the product, and finally, our desired field, the lead time to ship. This is where we must put the lead time that we desire, that we want to want to make it to. Okay, but first we need SKUs for this. Now we need the SKUs of every product, every item that we need to change the lead time for. Now we need to find the SKU and put the SKUs there and then change the lead time to ship. The SKU is a stock keeping unit. This is a unique identifier pro for the product. With SKU we can identify the product easily. Now where do you get the SKU from? 
we will get the SKUs from inventory reports. We need to download that report first. So we need to go to inventory, then inventory report. Here, it will give us the option to select the report type. Now what type of report do we select? It will give us option to download active listing report, open listing report, cancelled listing report, sold listing report and some other type of reports. What we need to do here is download the active listing report. And then we must click on request report. As soon as you click on request report, it will start preparing the report for us. If we look at here, under report status, it will say in progress, which means they are preparing the report for us. After a few minutes, it will give us a link to download the report. And if you click on download, it will start downloading the report. It has already started. Let's wait for it to finish downloading. All right, the download is now complete. This is the inventory, active inventory listing report. Now, here we can find all the SKUs that are active for sale on Amazon. Now, we can either select one by one. We can either select, we can select the ones that we want, or we can select all of them. For this example, we're going, I'm going to select all of them by holding down Control Shift and down, and then I'm gonna paste it on the template that we downloaded before. Okay, here are all the SKUs. I've already pasted them here. And then we must set the lead time for these SKUs. We can change the lead time one by one. We can change for differently for each of them. Or we can set uh, an average lead time for all of them. For example, for, th for this case, I'm going to select 20 for all of them. So I'm just going to write and select 20 for all of them. And then what we have to do is upload this file onto Amazon. But before that, we need to save the file first. So I'm going to save it. I'm going to name it lead time. And a very important thing to remember while saving this file is we must save it as text tab delimited format. Here it is. I'm going to save it. It's going to give me a warning. I'm going to select OK. And now we will have to upload this file to our inventory. So we will come back to the inventory menu. We go to inventory and add products via upload. This is where we will upload the file that we just created. Now it's giving me the option to upload inventory files and you can see you can select the file type of file that you want to upload. If you click on that, it will give me the option to download a few type of files, but we must select price and quantity file because remember this is the template that we downloaded and this is the template that we edited. So we're going to select that and we're going to choose the file Then we'll click on choose file and then we must select the file that we just saved as lead time.txt. We open it and then we simply have to upload it. We have to click on upload now. Then it should give us a message. Your inventory file has been received. That means my file has been uploaded. Now, if you go back to Amazon and search every SKU that we just put into that file and change the lead time for, you should see every product has now now has a lead time of 20. Now, this is so. This is how you change the lead time. I've shown you both of the method. I hope it has been helpful for you. And uh, thank you very much. If you appreciate the video, then you can just like the video or subscribe to our channel because in the future we hope to bring you a lot of other guidance and tutorial videos around the subject of e-commerce. Thank you.